The next step for this site is to configure the blog page and design a static home page. Now, of course, on a website like this where it's primarily a blog, you could get away with using the posts page as your front page, but we wanna take this site to the next level. We really wanna make a great first impression when people land on the site. And also you may recall this website has other objectives aside from just promoting the latest blog posts, right? We have the premium subscription, we have the newsletter, and we wanna showcase those things on the homepage as well. So in this video, we're gonna create a static homepage and a blog page. We're gonna configure the WordPress settings. And then in the next video, we're gonna design the homepage itself. So let's go ahead and create our first page. We'll just create a blank page called home for now. Go ahead and publish. And then we're gonna create another page. We're gonna call this one blog. So we've got our two pages and now we're gonna go over to the reading settings and we're gonna select your home page displays a static page. So we'll select home as the home page and blog as the posts page. Save changes. When we go back to the site, we have this blank page as our home page. And if we go to the blog page, we have our posts showing up here. Now there are a couple things I wanna do. Since we've added this blog page, I do wanna add it to the menu. And then I wanna configure how these posts are actually displaying on the site. So let's go to the customizer. And we will first go to the menu. We'll edit the primary menu. We'll just go ahead and add the blog page. And I think I'll add that as the second menu item right after home. So that looks good. Go ahead and publish that. And the next thing we need to do is configure the blog archive page. So let's go back to the main settings menu and we'll go down to posts and pages layout. Now from here, we're gonna select archive layout because this is our archive page. So we have the option to show or hide the archive title now I actually do wanna hide the title on this page, but there are some other pages like the author archive and the category archives where I would prefer to have the title up there. So I think for that, what we should do, let's go ahead and edit the page itself. We'll go to the page settings and disable the page title. And then update, return to the page. And from here, we can go back into the customizer. So back to posts and pages layout, archive layout. And like I said, I'm gonna leave that on for the other archive pages. And we can just kind of play with some of these settings. So all of these settings are for the title. That's not gonna show up on this page anyway. So we'll scroll down to the archive layout. So right now it's on normal. We can also switch to narrow, full width, left sidebar or right sidebar. All these same options that we saw with the posts and pages. I think for the blog and archive pages, I would like to have the right sidebar. So I'm gonna choose that option and we'll stick with sidebar one. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and create a second sidebar with sidebar two just so we don't have the redundancy of these recent posts here, we could put something else in the sidebar, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. Now for our post archive columns, you can see we have three columns here and it's very crowded. So let's see what we can do about that. We could do two columns or we could do the very traditional blog layout with one column. So I think I like that the most. And I think I also wanna put the image beside the post instead of on top of it. So this image is a little small, but we can definitely modify that. 
So for the post item layout, the feature is going to be the featured image. And we can play with different ratios here to make this a little more aesthetic and not so small. So we'll just try a few different options. So I think a two to three ratio is what I'm going to go with. We still have some white space down here, so we're going to need to shorten the content here. So I'm going to go straight down to the excerpt. And I'm just going to reduce the number of words to maybe 25. So this top one still has some white space. Uh, I think we have just a little bit too much content there still. So let's reduce that a little more to 20 words. Now if we scroll down, all of these posts look much better now. And I think I'm happy with everything else here. So our categories, we could change the divider if we wanted to. I think I like the default. We could also change the style between normal, pill, or underline. I think we're going to do normal. And then we can choose which metadata we show. So do we want to show the author? Do we want to enable the author's name linking to the author page? Do we want to show the author image? So if we want to have a little avatar there, we can also disable or edit the word by. So we could say like written by or posted by, or we could disable it completely so that it's just my avatar and my name. I actually like that. So I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, we can disable the date if we want. We can add the time. I think I'm going to leave that just like that. We can add some other stuff here. Uh, I think I am happy with all of this. So this is our blog page. It looks really good. We've got the sidebar there and we've configured how we want our posts to display. So that's our blog page. When we come back, we are going to configure the home page.